I'll see you then. Round two. Let's see if we can make something happen. Uh, <laughs> Thrike Tusk, which isn't performing well, but we'll keep it. Surely he'll do something in this game. Set up for turn two far seek into a turn four thrag tusk. A flyer, not too concerned. Or land. Can't hurt. No, we're getting there. A playable creature would be nice. Take two. Two shabs. Hey, hey playable creature. Prey upon now to kill something. Nah, these aren't too too vicious of threats. That is a threat. So we'll probably delay our Thrag Tusk play just to kill that bastard. Because we don't take five again. And we get to advance our board with a little something something. Guy is worth killing. So if we get more land, we play our Dusty Old Worm. Turn after Thrag Dusk. That's pretty decent. Not attack with the Hatchling. Another Flyer. Okay. Well, let's play the Thrag Tusk. Three here. Play the beetle. Giving some more value to Thrag Tusk. Thankfully, he doesn't have huge card advantage over us, like in our last game. Maybe we can just get them. We have our Dustail Worm in a turn if we draw land. If not, hopefully something relevant. Alright. We're going to take five. Yes, sir. Alright, something not all that amazing. But we get to attack for nine. So at most we'll take six here, leaving us dead the next turn. First what might just get us here. Weak to flyers. Plummet? Maybe should have been main deck. Maybe he stays back on blocks. I'd welcome it. But I doubt that'll happen. Swing in for five. Got it. Gorger. If we attack all out, he can swing for six neck turns, killing us. Let's just hope he blocks. Otherwise, we die. Which I assume is what's going to happen. Land or no blocks just gets us.
I want him to block. Although I doubt he will. Maybe he trades with a dryad. Maybe he thinks we have something sweet. Which we clearly don't. Oh, please have him. If we have titanic growth, he dies. Alrighty, blocked, so we'll run out the gorger. Take four. <coughs> I think he's responding heavily to the threat of titanic growth here. Which is good for us. Because we don't have crap. So at most we take five here. Unless he draws Searing Spear. If he advances his board, he can block one of our fatties. But if he just did let it, if he just took the damage, he definitely would have won this game. Still might, depending on what he has. But yeah, I think he overthought it. And thankfully he did. Alrighty, after considerable thought, Duder seated. He definitely made the misplay. But we'll bring in Natural Eyes. Continually good play on our part. Garnfear, pretty good here. Bring in Sign of Blood. And what are we taking out? I don't think rings that valuable for us. Our creatures are generally going to be better than his, I think. Uh, Bond Beetle. I'd rather take out a trick, though. He didn't seem to have too much good removal. And being red, it's mostly burn, so get him out of burn range. Mark gets a little better. If we can get ca catch him when he's tapped out. Let's take out. A scorpion? Hmm. I like Sign of Blood. But we're not going to play it. I don't want to cut at creatures, and I think our tricks are all pretty good. We'll just try her. Ooh! <laughs> Thrag Tusk, every game. However, uh, Arbor Elf lets us Chromaton and Farseek next turn, so let's do that. Hopefully, we won't get cowered out like we did uh, in round one. Get some value going. Ooh. This guy's got aggro. Yes, he does. But Thrag Tusk ought to put a stop to that. Chromadon helps as well. Ramp it up nicely. Turn 3 Thrag Tusk, I'll take it. Yep, 18. No follow-up, please. Hopefully not the what order of oh, whatever the guy is. Oh, that's that's not too concerning. Let's get the threat test going. Hopefully, we don't get rain of blades. That didn't happen. I think Thrag Tusk ought to, ought to carry us to victory here. He's definitely a resident in Value Town. Yep. Uh, Divine Verdict. 
that's what I put them on. But I subscribe to the philosophy of make them have it. So that's what we'll do. Got a pump spell. Oh, he's got a burn. All right. Basically a one for one, but we retain a little bit of value. Being a resident of Value Town, he gives us some little tidbits of extras. Could have been smart to swing an Arbor Elf there, but... Let's hope he doesn't pull a Sarah Angel. Since we're passing all the good cards. Nothing? I'll take it. Let's pump our Chromaton. Yeah, let's just see what it gets. No tricks. Very interesting. Okay. I'm fine with that. Yikes. Uh, well, it's not what we need. So we'll pass turn. Hope to draw something of value. Boy, I wish I had a sign in blood. I mean, great there. Maybe we just go down to 26 lands. Or scratch that. 16 lands. Since that's apparently all we draw. Bring it through and it's fine. Top deck magic. Oh, that's that's something. I'll block it. I will definitely block it. Oh boy. Yeah, I gotta kill that Griffin Protector. Hopefully it doesn't draw another white creature. It'd be bad for us. Nope, he's gonna... Uh. <laughs> Three turns? Maybe four? Remember he's a little shoddy. I just want the Bud Light to take it all away. Oh, Platinum. First beer I've had in a few months. It's about what you'd expect. It tastes like bud. Just sit on it. Oh, he's got black. Just sit on it, dude. Don't play your good cards. Just ride that Griffin Protector. Here, I'm going to double block because I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, not a big deal. Just another white card I gotta deal with. Now I want my ring. I want my regen ring. Not gonna get it. Just play another body for the sake of a body? I guess. If I make it to a game three, I will bring in my naturalize. Since apparently rings are good.
Hmm. We'll take three. Wow, land. How about that? Am I undervaluing ravenous rats? Are they better than I give them credit for? Gonna take four. Under too much pressure. Prey upon. Nope, not yet. I'll be taking five. Hopefully just five. Oh, really? pacifism. Interesting. All right. Certainly going to prey upon something now. Lots of dudes. Post combat. Prey upon plus cower and fear. Not enough to kill the war priest and kill all his dudes. But we're going to kill the griffin. Maybe chump? Yeah, I think we... Hmm... Maybe he doesn't have a burn spell. Yeah, uh, do I want to go to two? Yeah, let's go to two. Plummet. All right, let's go to one. Is that the trend? Me losing the rings. Something relevant. Trump blocker. Could be worse. Dodgy kill spell. Alright. Well, that didn't go so hot. Did it. Really tempted to go around to 16 lands, but we all know how that goes. Naturalize coming in. Ring coming in. Sign of blood. Let's just lower our curve. 16 lands. Put a bond beetle. No real thought behind it. Just plucking. Just grabbing some few column A, few column B. Alright, let's try this out. Got a real gap to reach. Just gotta get through this uh, middle ground of the game. Take one. Ooh, that felt good. Land. That's all I want. Land are creatures I can cast. Not too picky. Well, he's a thinker. Things are happening. Things like a war priest are doing. Alright. One step closer to casting something sweet. 
Let's equip our dude. Ship it. Oh, block. You know, region. Oop. Not there. Is he going to burn me out? Kill an armor elf? Can't say I'd be too sad about it. I somehow doubt that's what he's got in his plan. Oh! Can't answer that. Mark Dweller. Fair enough. Let's get our spider on board. Hopefully go to town with that guy. <sighs> These pacifisms. Ruining my day. Well, we got the infinite blocks. Plum at our disposal. Let's hopefully kill some things. He can get some damage in, but we'll definitely kill something of his. Which is all, all I want to do. I just want to kill things. Alrighty. Attacks are being made. I think I just want to kill the Muck Dweller. Actually, I think I'll... Take the four, block the hatch lane, make him spend some mana if he wants to kill my recluse. That almost ensures there's no follow up play. That's my plan. Nope. Just gonna kill that guy. Or he has regen potential. So he loses a guy and we take two damage. I think that benefits us. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, hmm. Kill the hatchling. Rise stuff that's not that cool. Res a muck dweller. What's worthy of a rise target? You get a 3 3 regen? We take maybe just three if we block more. Other option is we plummet this guy after he taps mana into it. And we take two damage. Yeah, I'd like to save my rise for something. I think I'm just going to use a trick here to kill the hatchling. Hopefully he pumps man into it. If he just taps one, he gets more board presence on us. If we rise, we get a deadly recluse. Or a muck dwell muck waiter. I think I'll just pass turn.
Interesting. Yeah, let's kill that. Chromaton! Showing up to the party. Keep tapping two for that. It might take two of this turn, which I can live with. Oh, block and regen. We almost want that deadly over <laughs> close. I might just die to the dragon, Ashley. Sad it is. <laughs> Sad as this looks like. That's what's happening. And we'll just ship it. Pumping the chromaton. We'll take five damage this turn. But it is black now. It can get bigger with our ring. I smell value. Yikes. Let's move this over. Let's play a force mage. And that'll be it. Trade, block, block, take one. That's what we have to look forward to. Might get out of this, but Outlook is grim. Alrighty, things are happening. So, block, block. I'm trading here for the fear of Searing Spear. I think one is fine. Okay, big things. Got it. So, we died to Searing Spear. That's what we have to look forward to. If he attacks with everything, he most likely has it. If he doesn't, there's a chance we can crawl back. Everything hinders on Thrag Dusk. That's what our deck is. Even when we do get Thrag Dusk, we're not doing so hot with it. He's not enough to carry the the fleet of our subpar creatures, apparently. Pacifism would be bad. Yeah, we're, we're trick light. Not the best, apparently. Okay, let's kill some things. I 
That's how that works. Alright, you can live with that. Another scorpion. Thinking about moving my ring over. Now let's just attack for three. We just got. <laughs> All we can hope for is he doesn't have a burn spell. That's not a big deal. Does that move the ring over? My regen recluses. What we're banking on. Ooh. I'll take that. That's good. That's good. No divine verdict. Alrighty, I think that pretty much secures us with the win here. Regen, death touch, reach. That's what our deck boils down to. Everything's pretty ineffectual. Removal's a pretty big game. I've been used to Avacyn where it's... Oh, removal doesn't exist. Just draft creatures. Not the case in this format. This format's so much better. I feel like decks can do anything. Which is actually a pretty bold statement for a core set. Because normally they're boring. Two flyers. That's worth noting. Could just attack with both. Can we win if we attack all out? This crackback is for... Yeah, let's just attack with everything. Not doing math. That's how I roll. Yeah, no math. Alright. Want a game? Want a match, rather? I'll see you for the third.